LED Info. My name is Ron, and we are very happy that you could join us today. We're in the LED Info Test Lab, and today we're reviewing the Mars TS-1000. Now, not only are we looking at the Mars today, but over the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at a lot of the lights that are available for sale right now on eBay and Amazon. We'll be looking uh, mainly at the reasonably priced lights, you know, the kind that you would use in a smaller at-home type of a project. Our test lab will do a full PPFD grid, uh, which will give us an average PPFD for the entire grow area, and we'll use that number to compute the DLI, that's the daily light integral, and that's the number that researchers are starting to pay more and greater attention to, and so we're happy to be able to provide that uh, very important information for you. Um, we'll also do a general overview of the light. We'll look at the technology used, the spectrum, and then any special features or equipment that the light might have. And then the last thing we'll do will be to check the actual wattage being used. We'll hook the light up to a meter and we'll determine the actual number of watts that are being pulled out of the wall by the light. And so I'm ready to get started. Let's take a look at the Mars. Okay, here's our Mars TS-1000, brand spanking new right out of the box. The light uses a quantum board technology. There's an 11 by 14 inch quantum board. There's 342 LEDs. Now, according to the Mars website, the LEDs are white light, warm white light, and additional red and infrared light LEDs as well. Shortly. Uh, on the flip side here, we can see the MOSO driver. There's also a new configuration with the power supply. We have an on and off switch. Uh, the two connectors here for the daisy chain, so if you have more than one light, you can hook the lights together. And the all-important dimmer switch. Uh, you know, we love the dimmer switches. It's so much easier to turn the knob on a dimmer rather than raising our lower lights. Uh, also, you may have a tent. That tent could, with some height restrictions, you know, maybe you can't raise the lights any. Uh, in that instance, you would just turn the lights down while the plants are little. And then as they get bigger and start to flower, you know, you can crank up the volume on the lights. Um, so... All in all, a real nice light, uh, very well-constructed, quality materials, can't find anything wrong with it, and very anxious to check out some numbers here. Yeah. Okay, we're all set, we're ready to go. We have our test chamber, which is a very nice two foot by two foot grow tent that was provided to us by Yellow Sky. We have our Mars TS-1000 blazing away, and we've taken great care to place it exactly in the middle of the grow tent at exactly a level 12 inches of height. In order to improve the accuracy of our measurements, we placed a light shield here in front of the open area of the grow tent. Uh, you can see that the light shield is a, a couple inches above the, uh, above the light. It has reflective material on the other side, and it's designed to keep any light from escaping from the grow area. Uh, we also, when we take our measurements, we lower the flap uh, on the tent. So we are confident that when we take our measurements, that the readings are going to be very accurate. And we are ready to take those readings right now. Um, we're going to take that all-important uh, direct dead center measurement here coming right up and I am really anxious to see how this uh, how this light scores. Okay so there it is there's the dead center number for the Mars TS-1000 uh, looks like 1266 or you know bouncing back and forth there between 1266 and 1265 so that's a very impressive number most of the ads that I see for Mars when they do their PPFD readings they use a three foot by three foot grow tent and they do the measurements at 18 inches height and even those numbers are, are respectable. But most other manufacturers, when they do their PPFD readings, they use 12 inches. And I think it's fair to use 12 inches because most of these lights, um, that's going to be the height that they're hung at when plants are flowering. So I think I think the 12 inch height is fair. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and do a, a full grid here. We have a 16 square grid. They're uh, uh, six inch squares. And we'll go on ahead and fill out that grid.